you said right away, watch for pace. What kind of pace should we watch for early on? Well, I can just tell you this. You know, for Valdez, he needs to start. He can do two things. He can start off early by using his legs and athleticism to frustrate Navarrete and make him fall in and catch him with counters. It takes some time to kind of wind up his wind up his engines. There's a wind slip up his there. Motor. That was awkward on that exchange. Just a slip as Wes Melton will clean off the gloves of Oscar Valdez. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's there that it is. lunging left hand from far away. Signature punch from Navarrete. Now on the inside, Valdez with a short right hand. And again, he's taking advantage of the high guard usage from Valdez. Short left uppercut nearly coming with that left hook counter. That's a signature punch of Valdez, but he from Valdez. Oh. Both men opening up. Valdez comes back with a left hand, goes with that left uppercut from High guard. Navarrete. Look at this for round number one. High guard killer, I told you. Forget, feel them out. It's get right to it and commit to the cause. Big right in. Good opening. Caught out of position. See him squat down right there in the right hand from Navarrete. Not only does he have a left hook, he has a right hand and an uppercut as well. But good shot. Navarrete just lets his hands fly. And when your opponent gets out of position, he follows up with his off. Dangerous with his assaults, especially getting his fighters out of position. If you throw second, lower than usual. Right Most people bring their body. jazz back, Tess. He doesn't. He leaves it out there. Almost as a shield. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about exactly. that. Exactly. Headweight champion of the world. <laughs> it he looks like a back of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's three punch combination from Navarrete. Most of that was blocked by Valdez. Remember, in terms of combination punching, he's one of the best. And back against the ropes, but Valdez unable to pull the trigger with a right hand follow. Good adjustment There's a right, right now. hand to the body on the inside. Valdez trying to get that real estate on the inside. Warning behind the head. Navarrete fires back with the uppercut. Pulling back was Valdez out of range. Good exchange gets the crowd attention here at the end of round number two. Right hand one two from Navarrete. Tries to push it back with a jab. We got a good one. Oh, good left hand from Valdez. And Navarrete fires back with an uppercut. D right here. Beautiful shot. He didn't turn that shot over. If he would have turned that shot over, I'm telling you right Take now, Navarrete probably would have been down, still Take down right now. You see, it's a slapping shot from Oscar Valdez. He has a 25 to 18 connect advantage. Came off the pace just a little bit in punches thrown in round number two. Valdez was 8 of 41 in that last round. Just that. Well, ask Miguel Burchelt, who was the boogeyman, the undefeated fighter, if Oscar Valdez hits hard because he had one of the knockouts of the year. But Valdez is being sneaky. Sneaking short right hand on the inside and then a short left uppercut. And now he lunges at Valdez. It's so awkward and so unpredictable because you don't expect them from this space. There's another driving overhand right hand. And now they tie up on the inside, separated by West Melton. Awkward right hand coming back at him. Short chopping left hook from Valdez. Right hand right back in his face from Navarrete. He's looking for that left uppercut, and then he changes then he his mind mid-stride. Yep. Now, he doesn't <laughs> land it, but we've seen him in the past absolutely brutalize opponents with that move. There he ducks underneath with the left hand to the body in the middle of the exchange. And how he did that was he... Now, tonight, he's being hit. Navarrete, 35 punches landed, 23 of them already power punches. Oh, nice right hand by Valdez. Good for that long right. Here's Navarrete on the inside. Views, nice little short shot, but wow. Look how he changed angles right there and still had the ability to be able to land and see this shot on the inside. Short right hand. There he is, steps back. Three rounds to none. Emmanuel Navarrete. Tim mentioned distance at the start of this fight. Navarrete with that long jab that he goes right hands from some crazy angles. Last thing I know, he took his great left hook, Timmy. He took his great left hook, but he's also made an adjustment in Navarrete. What he's doing is Navarrete. There he is, using his physical strength now. Holding up with that left hand, coming around with that right hand was Valdez. Valdez, that high guard, just trying to time that left hook again. 
If you see Navarrete, he's real loose with his offense. Relax. Everything that, that Valdez throw is hard. That's you right. can see it coming. It's loaded. He loads up on his shots. As he did there with the left hand against the wire. All Mexican clash. Round number four to this point. Navarrete with a 53 to 37. Over his head. Getting out of range from that attack as well. Utilizing his footwork and now a little upper body movement. And then setting up a counter left hook for himself. Volume with volume. You can outmaneuver volume. That's what you're seeing right now Valdez do. Using some tactics. He's getting caught right there in that high guard. Oh. There's the volume punching. Some, something's going to come through. Something's going to get in, Tess. A good head work and, elus uh, and elusiveness right there from Valdez. And here's his follow-up attack. Just missed with the right hand. Left uppercut comes back into the face. Comes with a right uppercut. Creates more space. One, two from Navarrete. Shot from Valdez. He sat on it and released it. Tries to come back with it in a short right hand. So here's a swing moment for Oscar Valdez, who's being a little more judicious and finding his spots. Whoa! Opens up with that left hook. Just partially blocked. His signature punch. Each man does it with the left hip. Fundamentally sound left hook. There's a four, five, six punch combination from Navarrete. Comes right back at Valdez. Highly competitive fifth round here. Neither guy wants to give an inch. A psychological edge at all, Tess. Navarrete trying to double up to the body. Oh, another left hook. Another left hook from Valdez. Able to get around that probing shot. That has been the target of that left uppercut. As we start round number six, let's check in with the card of Mark Kriegel. Four rounds to one. Three for power punches in that fifth round. But you can see that abrasion and swelling under the right eye of Oscar Valdez. You start. There's that Ooh. left hook again. He hurt him with that. Then he goes back with it. Tried to follow it up with the right hand. Wide swinging over him. He's being clever. That's what he's being. Sneaky. Clever. Good shot to the body. That left hook to the body has been effective throughout the pushing forward just a little more as Valdez has a right hand to that wide flank. Left hook again from Valdez, finding more of a rhythm. And now an up jab. It's more technically sound. Ooh. Guys are, right? You got one guy that's landing 28% in Valdez. More precise. But he's only thrown 202. Meanwhile, Navarrete's 463 punches. Valdez is doing, or he might be hurt. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, he switches the gear and throws. The typical Navarrete, managing his, en his energy. Valdez trying to take. Now he worked out of there. there Multi-punch combination again from Navarrete. Pulls out with a left hook. Valdez tries to burrow his way to the inside, unable to fire anything. Left hook Ooh. off the mark, right Ooh. hand comes back from Navarrete Ooh. with a left uppercut as well, and they fight through the bell. It off, and then all of a sudden, here comes the tsunami wave of punches. He's a faucet. With about a is. minute to go in that seventh round, we made the point of saying he's only thrown 33 punches to yes. this point. He finished that round with a fight high 99 <laughs> punches thrown <laughs> and 20. Oh, nice shot right there. Nice setup. Oh, there it is. You reach, I teach. Good shot coming back from Navarrete. I mean, this is it going back and forth. Neither guy is looking, looking to give as soon as you can. Just to let the guy know, hey, <laughs> I'm here too, baby. Valdez closing in on him. Had him smothered for a moment. Now back out at range here. Final to a tactical fight for Valdez. Left Good shot. Able to score there. Tactical and slower pace yep. would favor Oscar Valdez. Absolutely. Controlling the pace was a key element to this fight. Crowd starting to chant here as we come to the end of eight. And head never does. Exactly. You are talking about That's a fighter the difference. who fought seven rounds in a championship effort and won with a broken jaw. You got to beat the fight out of Valdez. You got to knock him out to stop him. So here we are, round number nine. Navarrete with a 116 to 82 connect advantage, according to CompuBox. 
Valdez more precision. He's landed 30% of his total punches. Navarrete landing eight. Ask him to come out and do. He's got to pressure. He's got to dig to the body. He does that. And he does. And it's a moment for Valdez. There's an overhand right as Navarrete fires back with an up jab. And back to the center of the ring. Good action to open up round number nine. But he's missing, Tess. He's missing. Head Valdez. movement from Valdez. He throws a full right hand. Bernardo will be in that corner. Oh, the he got hurt with that body, body shot. shot. Left hand sweeping across the body. Comes up hot. Round. And now the circumstances with Navarrete. So limited with that right hand is Navarrete for Valdez as we are starting the 10th round WBO Junior Lightweight World Championship on the line Mexican Legacy Warrior Pride on the line in front of some of the greatest to ever do it sitting ringside so there's a Navarrete use that right hand so there's a risk for Valdez going down to the body doesn't do it at the right distance that uppercut could get in on him Navarrete willing to throw combinations here to open up round 10, but not fully throttling that right hand. No, he just wants to fluster. Discipline with that right hand. That left hook is going to come real soon. Opening moments of this 10th round is a Navarrete round as the right eye is worsening for Valdez. Back and forth, these swings of drama. Valdez is looking. He's looking to just warm him up for that shot. He's looking. There, there it is. is. Right there hand is. over the top. That right eye is significantly there worse. There it is again. Navarrete willing to exchange with that right hand. Going to have to. Has to bite down here as we head to the championship rounds. Try noticing it here in this 10th round. Much more significant swelling to that right eye across the body. Goes to the body. Five punch combination. Six punch combination. Left hand included up top. Navarrete gets himself out of that corner. Minute to go here in round number 10. Valdez trying to come up and over with that left hook. Back out to range. One, two from Navarrete. Doubles up the left hand. That's his sole healthy weapon. Look at the right eye of Valdez. It is badly damaged here. Over the top with the right hand. Looking to counter that left. That right eye is closing, it's Timmy. The swell. Are they using the in swell? On that eye. Look at this exchange. We got one guy with an injured right hand. Whoa! We got another guy with a closed eye. And yet we got a Mexican war breaking out. Oh, this is great stuff. Come on, Come now. on, baby. Give it to us. Everything it's all about. It's a three-division world champion fellow countryman. Mark Kriegel, your scorecard. Six rounds to four, 96. 94. Navarrete. Navarrete wanted to go to that. He's there now, fellas. Here we go. Ooh. Big right hand. Sweeping with the left hook. Nearly went through the ropes. And Wes Melton nearly got hit. As he did a year. Pedal oh. to the middle. And it's a right hand from Valdez. And they're swinging away in the center of the ring. Off balance from Navarrete. His signature punch. Another left hand targeting that damaged eye. Good shot. This is a good round for Navarrete right here. Great round for him. They hear the clap. Short left uppercut on the inside. Big round for Navarrete. Oh. They're going to have three minutes to this time. Let's decide it right here. Coming off a big Navarrete round with the championship on the line. Test that right eye is closed. Oh, it's closed. It's closed. It Doctor didn't even damaged. come up. Doctor didn't even come up at all. Seven edge. For Navarrete. Oh, good shot. Both men landing there. Navarrete seemingly unaffected, slipped on the signage, the wet signage in the middle of the ring. The Mexican legends ringside. Julio Cesar Chavez, Barrera, Morales. And it's fitting to perform like this. Here come Valdez. <laughs> Better have urgency here. Right hand, four punch combination from Navarrete. Ooh. That's back, and now on the attack. Headshots from Navarrete. Is in bad, bad shape. Left hand from Valdez. 
Right hand combination from Valdez. Got to find something here. He's going for it. Navarrete back. How about it? scores the bout 116 112 Chris Wilson scores it 118 110 and Lisa Giampa scores it 119 109 all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and still WBO junior lightweight champion of the world